What is up guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred back again with another trailer reaction review. Today we're gonna be taking a look at the brand new Kingdom Hearts 3 classic kingdom trailer. Now it's a minute long, it's classic kingdom, and not to be confused with Mario Odyssey. I think this world is probably gonna be like the hub world of Kingdom Hearts 3 or something that has to do with Mickey Mouse or Minnie Mouse from like something that's classic. That's the only thing that comes up to me when I think of really Kingdom Hearts and the word classic. Maybe it's a throwback to the original Kingdom Hearts games or something in that nature, that ballpark. Let's jump in and take a look at this brand new world for Kingdom Hearts 3. Let's jump into it. What is this gonna take us? Okay. Like a hub world, it has to be. What is this, a mobile game? Wait. Is that supposed to be Sora? It's like fucking, um, Game & Watch games? It looked like he had a Joy-Con in his hand for a second. That's it? Wait. That's what they meant by classic kingdom trailer? What the fuck is this? Okay, I'm lost. I'm lost. I'm lost. Not what I was expecting at all. Uh, we did get Mickey. I said Mickey Mouse <laughs> and, and Minnie Mouse in, in that trailer, but not the way I thought we were gonna get it. That is, this is kind of left field. When they said that we got a Kingdom Hearts trailer today, I was just like, bring it on. I was hyped, thinking that we were gonna get new, you know, a new kingdom, a new world that was gonna be playable in Kingdom Hearts. I was not expecting this. This kind of makes sense. This kind of makes sense. So close to E3, you would think they would save the, the announcements and stuff for E3 if there's still gonna be these huge monumental announcements coming for Kingdom Hearts 3 you think they would save that. This is something you would put out before E3 to kind of keep, you know, the, the, the pot boiling and the ideas flowing for everyone to keep interest, especially with all the hype around Spider-Man, all the hype that God of War is getting right now. You do want to keep that momentum going for Kingdom Hearts 3, and this is it. This is a great way to keep it going, and cuts probably... I want to know the. I want to know. Let me know your guys' reactions. Let me know your thoughts on what the fuck this is. Are you excited for something like this to be included into Kingdom Hearts Three? I'm skeptical. I'm not really huge on mini games inside of RPG style games, but that's just me. I'm not really, you know, unless it's done and, and implemented right. These look like they could be something that you want to pick up and play and jump in and dive into. That's why when I seen it, I was like, is this going to be like a mini game collection or something? I could 100% see this working on a platform like the Nintendo Switch. Kingdom Hearts is not coming to Nintendo Switch. It's coming to, to PS4 and Xbox One. Like, how is this? How? How? Why? Why are we getting this? If this somehow could connect to your Vita and play off that, that'd be amazing. But who, who is this for? What is it for? Like, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I'm not going to grade this trailer. I'm not going to give it a grade because this is clearly some left field side thing that was done and they just wanted to shoot out there. Trailer wise, as a reveal, it was great. Cool. Perfect before E3. Um, as far as, you know, it's stacking up as a trailer for like a game game, I can't grade it. It's just a series of what it looks like to be mini games that's something that you're going to jump in and just like, you know, play not mindless games, but games to get your, your brain rolling. To step away from the craziness that is going to be Kingdom Hearts 3. So... Let me know what you guys think of this. Like, am I just left alone in this world and don't know what the fuck is going on? But let me know what you think about this trailer. 
Like always, guys, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred on Instagram and Twitter. You guys can bring the conversation there. I'm the American Gamer in Switzerland right here on YouTube. And yes, I'm going to be doing a ton of these trailer reaction reviews. The best way to check them out is with a subscription. So please hit that subscribe button. Also hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as growing the channel is concerned. Ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time I drop a video. Peace. I'm going to see you guys on the next trailer reaction review.